Okay, so problem two of the midterm exam. Uh, we had the circuit diagram below. So it's an RC circuit uh, with a diode in it, which was maybe a bit of a surprise. Um, but fortunately, it's not so bad because it's a relatively easy diode circuit to analyze. So let um, the initial uh, voltage of the capacitor be zero. Um, and use a piecewise linear model for the diode with some RD, okay? And this is our, this is our circuit. So this is what we're kind of going for here. Um, uh, so let's do two. So um, since A is greater than 0 0.6 volts, we can effectively just assume that this is going to be on, okay? Um, this diode's gonna be on. So it, you could go through and say, okay, what, you know, VD, like we usually do. Um, but I try to give, it, give you a strong, strong signal here that uh, this is always gonna be on. So A is some voltage input, some constant voltage input is greater than 0 0.6 volts. So it's going to drop the voltage will drop across this this diode, um, uh, and uh, we'll we'll definitely get some current flowing here. Um, so let's uh, go forward with the assumption that the diode is going to be on, and uh, do the analysis that way. Okay, um, there is a bit of a nuance. I uh, uh, if the voltage if the across the capacitor increases then um, the diode turns off right so um, if the voltage over here gets to be a certain amount it's going to shut it off so that's what we have to think about is this thing is going to be we turn it on and it's going to flow until the capacitor gets to a certain voltage a is going to be greater than 0.6 it's going to flow for a little while but then it's going to shut off so uh, we don't know how long it's going to flow because we don't know what a is and we don't know um, yeah we don't know what a is okay so that's our that's our idea here uh, for this circuit. That's sort of the diode thing. We can kind of assume it's going to be on. Um, so let's do, if we do that, we're going to have a circuit that looks like this. Um, instead of putting the, we could put the diode, the ideal diode in. So there it is. Then we've got a drop of 0.6 volts. And then we've got the resistance of the diode, RD. And then we've got the resistor. There are one or two of you who forgot to put the other the regular resistor that started in the circuit in there. And then you've got your capacitance C, and that is your circuit. So we want to know the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time. So this is your standard RC circuit time domain analysis. Um, but we have this drop. So this Vs we know is equal to A. Um, so let's we could go through the whole process. I think this is like a circuit that we've analyzed a lot of times though. So you can go back through and do an RC circuit if you want. Um, I what I did is I just started with the elemental equation and just did substitutions because um, there's only one elemental equation with the time derivative, so we're going to want to solve a, a differential equation in VC uh, dVc dt equals one over c times ic, and then I just started to do the KVL, KCL, etc. Elemental equation for resistors. Um, uh, just in line here. So, I, and also we can consider these two resistors to be um, one resistor with effective resistance R plus RD, right? They're in series, um, so that's their resistance. So 1 over C, I C, so I C we can rewrite as being I, so I'll call this I, uh, I'll call this R E. Um, so it, the current through the capacitor is the same as the current through this effective resistor. Um, and then we've got um, IRE 
is we can use the elemental equation for a resistor, right? So Ohm's law, V equals IR, or I, I equals V over R. So the over R E comes there. We are left with V R E here. And um, V R E we can rewrite in terms of using K V L as being the voltage, um, uh, so it's going to be Vs minus the, um, the other voltage drops. So it's going to be minus 0 0.6, go around the loop, 0 0.6 minus um, Vc. And now we've got a differential equation in Vc. So if you rearrange this into our typical first order linear ODE form, we've got um, tau times dVc dt plus Vc equals um, 1 over Re times C Vs. Uh, well, actually, it's Vs minus 0 0.6. Can't forget that. Um, good, where we've got we've defined tau to be one, um, one over REC. Solving this equation, we've done a lot, so however you did it, you can even integrate this equation, some of you did that, um, and we get, so we know the output voltage is just the capacitor voltage, VC of T equals the solution of this which you can go through um, the process pretty quickly. So I, I sh you should plug in Vs as A, right? A minus 0 0.6 times 1 minus E to the minus T over tau. Okay. So that's that's that one. Um, I know that it kind of seemed more uh, intimidating than that, um, but yeah. So the idea here is that is that so if a was just zero point seven, say so a we said a is greater than zero point six, but say it's only zero point seven. This thing's only going to charge up to zero point seven, and then it'll then it'll um, switch off, and then it'll discharge and it'll turn on, and so yeah, etc. Um, so the, the idea with this circuit though is that uh, you're only going to increase to um, A minus 0 0.6 and then you're done. Um, so an exponential decay to A minus 0 0.6 and, and to actually so, so technically it's never going to reach this value. Um, so it'll just be on, it just won't be flowing very much current. So yeah, that is this one. All right, I'll do the next one in another video.